once again, new president, same old policy. Uh, this is from RT. China labels U.S. unreliable and uncredible as Biden reportedly tightens restrictions on supplying Huawei. This was this was happening under President Donald Trump. This was one of his big policies was this trade war he was waging on China. And uh, in that war was this battle against Huawei. The, they had Canada arrest one of their executives. They're trying to cut the company off from US suppliers that were supplying them microchips. They were pressuring countries all around the globe to cut Huawei off from their markets and they have cut Huawei off from US markets. They also had Google try to cut Huawei off from the Android operating system that runs on Huawei smartphones. Uh, and this, again, this was part of the larger US-China trade war. The US claimed that this was because of supposed national security risks. No evidence was ever shown that uh, products made by Huawei had any sort of uh, compromised uh, security issue. That evidence was never produced. And then we saw the U.S., uh, the U.S. corporate media and the U.S. government branch out to trying to link Huawei to, you know, the the situation in Xinjiang uh, and all the propaganda the U.S. is spreading about that. And in, in general, we see all of the signs uh, of a propaganda war being waged against China. And this is in terms of economics and specifically designed to damage very successful companies like Huawei. And now, if you think that this is just the US uh, versus China, and if you do somehow, for some reason, believe US corporate media that China is a problem and that Huawei is this extension of the Chinese Communist Party, the US is doing the exact same thing to its own allies. It's doing the exact same thing to Germany, one of uh, America's closest allies in Western Europe. And if you're thinking, well, that, that article you just showed is RT, that's Russian propaganda. Here's one from Reuters, and this is this week. Germany bets US will make the best of bad deal Nord Stream gas link. Uh, and if you don't know the background of this story, Russia and Germany are building a pipeline to bring cheap Russian hydrocarbons into Western Europe through Germany. And everyone in this deal benefits. Russia does, Germany does, other European companies involved in the pipeline's construction and then its operation and maintenance, they're all going to benefit. And of course, Western Europe's going to benefit from having a steady, reliable source of cheap hydrocarbons. Uh, and during the Trump administration, this was another one of these issues where the US was pressuring Germany to end this deal, to stop this pipeline with Russia. Uh, they asked them, then they told them, then they started with the sanctions, just like they're doing with Huawei. Uh, when there is a business deal happening that the US is not benefiting from, or uh, a business deal that jeopardizes one of America's rackets or pyramid schemes, uh, this is what they will do. It doesn't matter if it's a country that is a supposed adversary of the United States or if it's a country that is a very close ally of the United States. This is the only way the U.S. knows how to do business. So uh, here in the Reuters article, President Joe Biden thinks the pipeline under the Baltic Sea to Germany is a bad idea for Europe, the White House has said. Wow, uh, just like Trump said and just like all the corporate funded think tanks said and told these presidents to say. So we come back to the original article here. China labels US unreliable and uncredible. That's China saying that. But if you were in Germany right now and your company faced sanctions just because your country wanted to do business with Russia and the US said no, uh, you would probably be feeling the US was pretty unreliable and uncredible as well. So I thought I'd point that out, not just uh, the continuation of Trump policy under Biden, uh, regarding China, but how the U.S. does this to everybody, not just countries it says are, are enemies or a threat to the globe, but also their own allies who, who they claim are helping them preserve order and peace and prosperity on Earth. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share it. Think about subscribing to my channel. It's free to do. It helps the channel grow. Please check the video description uh, for the links to these two articles, as well as to my alternative channel on Odyssey. This is in case YouTube deletes this channel. Uh, 
There's also ways in the video description uh, on how you can help support my work so that I can continue doing this. And to everyone who is helping in every way, thank you so much. And as always, thank you for watching.